Life, 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 life. Somebody bring me life. Yeah, yeah. Oh, shout out to Casey and JoJo. Um, off the life soundtrack, life movie, one of the greatest movies of all time. But today we're talking about the late great man. That's crazy. The late great Matthew Perry, more famously known for his role in Friends, better known as Chandler. It's like, damn, damn, going too soon. But uh, let's celebrate his life. There's going to be a celebration of life right here. Best Chandler Bing moments, Friends TV series. Let's go. Well, I think this is the episode of Three's Company where there's some kind of misunderstanding. <laughs> <laughs> no, really? Whose little ball of paper is this? Oh, that would be mine. See, uh, I wrote a note to myself, and then I realized I didn't need the note, so I balled it up, and now I wish I was dead. <laughs> Will you get me a white Simpson You can even tell early, like, this is, like, one of the early seasons. I think that's, like, season, definitely, like, season one. Just the, the timing and everything is it. Chandler, Chandler would be a little bit different later in the years. Like, he comes off, like, nervous. And later in the years, he's like, I'm him. Like, what you talk about? Yeah, I, I dropped a note. Like, and what? <laughs> and a glass of red for Janice. Janice? <laughs> Janice? Oh. Janice? Oh. My. God. Hey, it's Janice. <laughs> hey, Yo, that's such a that was such a great running joke throughout the series of Janice popping up. I believe she was originally uh, Chandler's uh, girlfriend, and they just they couldn't get along because she was such um, what's the word for it? Annoying. <laughs> eh, eh. Like you got to watch it to understand. I love that even in the uh, I think her last appearance was like near like season. Nine, she got preg. She was pregnant, and no, yeah, season nine, she was pregnant. Rachel and Ross having a baby. Spoiler alert! And she was even in the hospital. Like it was like, oh my god, like this is crazy. This can't be happening. But yeah. Night, I had a dream that um, you and I were uh, doing it on this table. <laughs> really, Chandler and Rachel. That don't you okay seem- there? I can't believe you two had sex in her dream. Oh my god, Ross. I'm, I'm sorry, it was a one-time thing. I was very drunk, and it was someone else's subconscious. <laughs> and sometimes I may be away longer, like this. <laughs> but I'll still always come back. Like this. Like this. <laughs> but sometimes I'll want you to steal third, and I'll go like this. <laughs> no reason there's like literally no reason for him to do that just because that is Chandler he just he has to he has to make the situation just awkward yet funny that's just that's just him that's his character awkward yet funny bro that just has to be him there's no reason to do that point uh, well the tough thing is she really wants to have sex with me crazy bitch <laughs> <laughs> One's from Joey. Feels like a book. I think it's a book. Feels like a book. And it's a book. Oh, it's Dr. Seuss. That book got me through some tough times. There is a little child inside this man. Yes, the doctors say if they remove it, he'll die. I believe. I don't remember her at all. Like at all, at all. That's crazy. But this is my. I think this is one of my favorite episodes. This is the episode to where Ross. This had to be has to be at the end of season one. In the season one, to where Ross goes off overseas for like some type of conference or something like that, and finally um, Rachel realizes Ross's feelings for her, which I still like. I hate that they made it the whole series 
of them being together, not being together, being together. We were on a break. First of all, you were on a break technically, yes. But come on, come on, come on. Rose reverse, you know, God dang well. Rose came and take her having subconscious sexual relations. You think he would have been able to handle if they were on a break and she got with someone else that he would he would have handled that correctly? Come on, man. You come on, Ross. You know better than that. Um, but anyway, yeah, just <laughs> they were they were moving, you said they were moving it. It might kill him. <laughs> you okay, sweetie? I just feel like someone reached down my throat, grabbed my small intestine, pulled it out of my mouth, and tied it around my neck. Cookie? <laughs> See, but I don't want to be single, this okay? Is I just, I just, I just want to be married again. <laughs> and I just want a million dollars. A great introduction to all the characters. Well, despite the yummy bagels and palpable tension, I've got pants that need to be altered. <clears throat> oh, hey, Chandler, when you see Frankie, tell him Joey Tribbiani says hello. He'll know what it means. <laughs> you sure he's going to be able to crack that code? <laughs> Could you guys please try to keep it down? Ooh. We're trying to start a boggle tournament. Now, Joe, if these people find out they're playing spelling games over there, there'll uh, be nobody left at all. My man in the back getting sturdy, you heard me? <laughs> yeah. My bad, like, you get a, you get a jiggy with it, you heard? Boggle tournament! Now, Joe, if these people find out they're playing spelling games over there, there'll be nobody left at our party. <laughs> Hi. What's the matter with you? Yep. Mean guys at the coffee house, my hat. No! Kid. It was ridiculous, you know? These guys, they were bullies. Actual bullies, you know? We're grown-ups. This kind of stuff isn't supposed to happen anymore. Oh, right. no. Oh, no, wait a minute. I have no one. <laughs> yes, you do. Hold up. Wait a minute. Uh, oh, they so joy. Well, I feel bad. Oh, yeah. Very bad. Chandler, what are you doing? Chandler? Oh, my God. <laughs> You're smoking again? Well, actually, yesterday I was smoking again. Today I'm, I'm smoking still. <laughs> Why would you start again after chewing all that quitting gum? Look, I'm telling you, this is just like my parents' divorce, which is when I started smoking in the first place. Weren't you nine? <laughs> yeah. I'm telling you something, that uh, first smoke after nap time. <laughs> Bruh, shout out to uh, Matthew Perry once again because you can see the change. I want to say season three, he went through like a you know, physical change because he was going through some some issues. Like I'm glad he overcame that. You can tell by season five, like he looked more, you know, himself. But yeah, it just it's crazy, man. Like yeah, yeah. Oh, you know what? Don't close it. The keys are in there. Oh no 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 no! What's going on? My lighter's in there. <laughs> That's the worst feeling, man. Lock your keys in the car. Damn. Tailpipe's not hot enough to light this. It's running. <laughs> Relax, okay? I, I can get this open. A anybody got a coat hanger? Oh, I do. Oh, no. Wait a minute. I took it out of my shirt when I put it on this morning. <laughs> Chandler, what are you doing? There is a trash can right there. Well, I thought if I littered, that crying Indian might come by and save us. <laughs> okay, done. What the hell is that? What's play? What's play? That's help, spelled backwards so that the helicopters can read it from the air. <laughs> huh. What's doofus spelled backwards? <laughs> This is, yeah. It's Ross on one of his drives! Hey! What is he doing here? He is saving your butt. Uh, unless, of course, I'm stepping on some toes here, in which case I can just mosey on. I've got plenty of people to help on the interstate. Oh, no, now it's not going to make any sense. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you.
Did he like smoke during a whole season? <laughs> Can you please not okay, do that? Okay, that's like the least fun game ever. <laughs> well, I'm really sick of your smoking, so I brought something that is going to help you quit. Oh. <laughs> Nope, that patch is no good. <laughs> That's crazy Lauren, it's to put this. hypnosis it... tape. This woman at work used it for two weeks. It's crazy weeks to put this straight, actually in the, the in the show. So, <laughs> uh, how did you guys meet? Well, um, I was in uh, Mrs. Knight's. Uh, oh, I mean, Alice. Sorry, <laughs> Alice. <laughs> I was doing... This got weird real quick. I remember this like when. Yeah, yeah. But shout out to Mrs. Foreman. <laughs> Shout out to Mrs. Foreman's that '70s show. <laughs> I, I was in her uh, home ec class. And he was my best student. Yeah, she was my best teacher. Oh. Gonna get away with that today. If that doesn't keep kids in school, what will? <laughs> yeah, okay, that today. my boss, Joanna. When you left, she started asking questions about you. Oh, like what she saw, huh? <laughs> Dug my action, did she? Checking out the chain chain man. What? <gasps> uh, and, and? Oh. Oh. <laughs> hey, my father's house does that. Okay, it was just me and her at the back. The uh, Willy Walk on the Chocolate Factory. They didn't like that. Hold on, hold on. It was, uh, what was that? Uh, oh, I remember what song they were singing. And. Oh! <laughs> hey, my father's house does that. Okay, so it was just me and her at the back of the train, and I sat near the door, so she'd have to pass by me if she wanted to, like, switch cars. She was totally at my mercy. Were you so late because you were burying this woman? <laughs> 30 seconds, all the questions oh you can answer. This is one of my favorite episodes. You guys are dead. I am so good at lightning rounds. <laughs> I majored in lightning rounds. All right? We're going to destroy you. I want to bet? Oh, I'm so confused as to what we've been doing so, so far. <laughs> hey, guys, what, what should I wear to a Knicks game? Uh, a t shirt that says, I don't belong here. <laughs> all right, okay, look. What if you could keep the apartment and get the tickets? Done. Let me finish. <laughs> Talking about a bet. Winner takes all. Ooh, we could end up with nothing. Or exactly. you can end up with everything. Oh, I like that. <laughs> all right, so what do you say? No. Uh, just do it. Oh, oh, I'm convinced. <laughs> we are switching back right now. No, we're not. We're not leaving. Well, you're going to have to leave sometime because you both have jobs. And as soon as you do, we're switching it back. There's nothing you can do to stop us. Right, Joe? Oh. I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> what? I don't want to move again. With a... <laughs> I don't care. This is our apartment. And they stole. You stole. <laughs> our apartment. We won that apartment fair and square twice, and I'm getting it back right now. I'm getting it back right now. Little announcement, little announcement. I've decided. I don't see the, the real difference. Like, it's literally, really the same, for real. Like, I don't see why they wanted that other apartment outside of, a, what, the cable or something like that. A little, a little bit more, sp maybe spacious, but. I don't see what's my on. best man is my best friend, Gunther. What? <laughs> what's my last name? Central Perk. <laughs> the stripper stole the ring! The stripper stole the ring, Chandler! Get up, get up! The stripper stole the ring! What? The ring is gone! Oh. Okay, this is like, give me a minute to wake up for this. <laughs> <laughs> you lost the ring! You're the worst best man ever! <laughs> hey, you guys, guess what? Oh, that's season four when the Ross got with uh, Emily. The British are coming? <laughs> Maybe I should get another pair. Ooh. <laughs> oh, wow. Yeah, this, yeah, Ross was, yeah, Ross was off one by this point. I mean, he had the leather pants. 
it, it's, his, his thighs, his legs got through hot paws. So he, he took, like, he took him off to try to, like, cool him. Oh, no, no, no. He went to the bathroom. So when he tried to pull him back up, I guess it shrinked. Or I don't know. But <laughs> he tried to put them on. He was trying all kinds of solutions and lotions. And, oh, my God, Ross, man, is, like, one of the most troubled characters. <laughs> to be so smart. He's so stupid. Uh, they had some with, uh, with, with fringe all down the sides. What? <laughs> Beeps, you may know this. You know strange things. What is the boiling point of brain? <laughs> uh, dude, look, look, look at him. Dude, you almost crushed my hat. <laughs> Sorry. And the bunny got away. <laughs> <laughs> what is he doing? <laughs> this would be the place where you explain the hat. Yes. <laughs> oh, okay. This is called a top hat. <laughs> <clears throat> and why, why are you, you wearing have... this? Is it top hat? <laughs> oh, yeah. But this is play, right? And I'm up for the part of this real cool, like, suave international guy. A real clothes horse. So I figure everyone at the audition is going to be wearing this kind of, you know, ultra hip, high fashion stuff. And you're going to make them all disappear. <laughs> yeah, like you could find something as sophisticated as this. <laughs> Done. <laughs> wow, you look just like your son, Mrs. Tribbiani. <laughs> what? Are you afraid? Who would know that 20 years later? That would be high fashion for men. Hey, it is what it is. Turn to my man's bag. <laughs> At first, I thought it just looked good, but it's practical, too. Check it out. It's got compartments for all your stuff. Your wallet, your keys, your address book, your makeup. Oh. Uh, man, insurance, I could get hit by a bus or, or catch on fire, you know? But it wouldn't matter. Now I got to be careful? I'm sorry, man. There's never a good time to have to stop catching on fire. <laughs> Will you go to the hospital? Dude, hernia operations cost, like, a lot, probably. Okay? Besides, it's, it's getting darker and more painful. That means it's healing. <laughs> I will loan you the money. Just go to the hospital and let's just get that thing pushed back in. <laughs> Thank you, but it, it would take me forever to pay that money back, and I, I don't want that hanging over my head, okay? Besides, as soon as my insurance kicks in, I can get all the free operations I want. Okay, I think I'm probably start with that laser eye surgery thing. Hey. 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 What's going on? Well, Joey's got a really bad hernia, but it's nothing that a little laser eye surgery won't fix. <laughs> you know what's sadder than this? Bambi. I cried for three days with that movie. No, wait, two. Because on the third day, my mother killed herself, so I was partly crying for that. <laughs> well, see, now that I can see oh crying my over, God. but Bambi... No, I'm thinking, oh, like, what, is this the episode? But they're not going to show this because... I, don't, I think, uh, I was like, no, this ain't the episode where Ross does the, um, the, the bagpipes. I'm sorry, go ahead. Is a cartoon. You didn't cry when Bambi's mother died? Yes, it was very sad when the guy stopped drawing the deer. <laughs> We said we would meet at the coffee house. Nah, at nah, because if you're talking about Bambi, yeah, I, I didn't feel nothing for Bambi. Nah, if you're talking about Mufasa, top top three worst deaths in, in, in history, bro. Like, what are we talking about? Like, what? When Mufasa died? Mm mm, mm mm. You could have talked to me. You could have talked to me. Mm mm. We said seven. We said six. The only way that I said six would be if I said the sentence, let's meet at seven. Not at six. <laughs> and the boots don't really go with it. You said that you paid all that money because those boots go with skirts, dresses, and pants. What are you planning on wearing? A chicken suit? <laughs> oh, wait, stop, stop, stop. Oh, I'm sorry. Do you need a break? <laughs> My boots in tan. Hey, can you get a little closer so I can see the price? I can see it from right here. It'll cost you one husband. <laughs> okay, I'm sorry. I think I, I can walk the rest of the way now. Just, just give me my boots. I don't have your boots. Well, I don't have them either. Where are they? 
Well, why don't you check in one of my saddlebags while I chew on a bale of hay? Uh, okay. Our first contestant is Ross. My, Ross and Rachel, like, if you watch the watch the um the first like three four seasons, that relationship like it's natural. Like you get you get, and it's not out of the ordinary. Like it was definitely natural. I don't understand why they just have like Ross, Rachel, Monica Chandler, Phoebe, Joey. Like am I am I, am I reaching here? Like why didn't they just do that? I hated the whole Rachel. Joey thing. Like, I'll, I'll try to mini block that out of my mind, but go ahead. Geller, why don't you tell us a little bit about yourself, Ross? Well, uh, I, I'm a paleontologist. Um, I, I live in New York. I have a son, Ben. Uh, hi, Ben. And uh, I said a little bit, Ross. Now, ah! what about you, Chandler? Well, Joey, I'm a headhunter. Mm -hmm. I hook up out of work Soviet scientists with rogue third world nations. Hi, Rasputin. <laughs> Excellent. You can either spin the wheel or pick a goo. If you only knew how how crazy the the blooper was for him to get through that. Now see now we gotta watch the bloopers now. Now I'm in my friend's bag. Let's go. And uh, I said a little bit, Ross. Now you said a little bit, Ross. Chandler. Well, Joey, I'm a headhunter. I hook up out of work Soviet scientists with rogue third world nations. Hi, Rasputin. <laughs> Excellent. You can either spin the wheel or pick a Google card. Let me think. Let me think. Oh, uh, I don't care. <laughs> nope. Actually, we're going to we're going to save this because I'm a Big Bang Theory fan too. So yeah, we're going to do that too. Yeah, let's go. Um, but yeah, Matthew Perry <sighs> gone too soon, man. You think it's like it, just, it comes out of nowhere? That's the thing with these type of 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 of, of deaths. It's like you think these guys are are guys and women that we see growing up on TV or listen to musically or these entertainers, like, you think they're going to live forever. Like, it's, it's crazy. And then the next day, they're gone. Like, it's crazy. It's crazy, man. Just Chandler's one of those guys to where it's just like, huh? Like, or Matthew Perry's one of those guys just like, what? Huh? Like, <laughs> like what? So, yeah, that's just, that was just news. That news was crazy. But... He's he's ever just like um, Queen's song, "Who Wants to Live Forever." His comedy, his entertainment is gonna live forever through Friends, through his movies, uh, "Whole Nine Yards," "Whole Ten Yards," um, and all his other work. So, at the end of the day, he's, he's gonna still be here for generations and generations to come. But rest in power, Matthew Perry. Yeah, like, comment, subscribe, share all things of things. Rest in power, man.